Hey, what's up, guys? This is Gathalian. We're here to talk about Fantasy Star Online 2, which uh, I wasn't sure I was going to do any more content on. Uh, frankly, uh, the game's super fun. came out recently in the United States and uh, over in Europe after being exclusive to uh, the East for a long time, though you could play on um, the Japanese servers with an English patch, but I digress. I played it when it came out on launch on Xbox and PC. had a ton of fun, but I was always kind of encumbered by this feeling that we were just going to be getting the content that's already like seven, eight years old, whatever. It's like seven plus years old uh, from Fantasy Star Online 2. Even though a good game, it still felt dated. Uh, combat was fun, but the graphics were dated and the online systems felt a little dated. And even though it was worldwide super popular, like one of the most popular free-to-play MMOs in Japan, it still didn't grab me just because it still had that dated feel. So I kind of put it down for the time being, waiting for some some of the content on the U.S. version to catch up with the Japanese version. But this week, uh, announced during the, the Xbox game conference, uh, it showed a brand new expansion coming to Fantasy Star Online 2 called PSO2 New Genesis, which at first looked like a brand new game because the graphics in it are so much above and beyond what PSO2 is currently and it featured a huge open world, which is completely different to what PSO2 currently does, which is sort of similar to what PSO1 does, which is that sort of like corridor, you go into an area and it sort of like randomly generates the path that you go through. But New Genesis looks to have an expansive new open world to play in and a lot of little tweaks in it. Uh, character models look a lot better, textures look better, lighting looks better, and even little things like uh, the damage numbers are much more understated in the new Genesis than they are in current PSO2, what we have now. So uh, I immediately reached out to uh, the PSO2 NA account on Twitter, asked them, is this gonna respect our current characters? They said, absolutely. Uh, with more info to come. So what that means, what will respect your microtransactions? Who knows? Is it going to respect the levels that you get now? Is it worthwhile to grind out the current version of PSO2? Or would it be more worthwhile to just wait for it to come out with the PSO2 New Genesis of 2021? Who knows? But um, I'm kind of on the train of now I want to I want to get down on some PSO2 and play and grind up my character and grind up the different classes and whatnot and enjoy what's there now and be ready for this new expansion that's coming next year. We don't have a release date yet. Hopefully it's early 2021, but I'd guess it's probably gonna end up coming out somewhere towards the mid or end, because this thing, it looks like a massive overhaul, guys, and I'm super excited about it. I always loved Fancy Star Online. I'm ready for new Genesis. I'm gonna get down on some PSO2 and get all my characters to 75 before they launch the new level cap and all the new content and episodes coming, so. When they first announced Fantasy Star Online 2, I was certain that they were releasing it in the West uh, to lead up to Fantasy Star Online 3, but it seems like Sega's making a really smart move in essentially rebuilding their current game as a new game and hopefully respecting everything the players have done up until now. Let me know how you guys are feeling. Are you playing current Fantasy Star Online 2? Are you going to jump into it now knowing that there's this great new expansive redone content coming? Let me know in the comment section, and I'll see you guys next time. Peace.